As you probably know, I'm a big believer in giving credit where credit is due. So credit to Julian Goldie SEO, who told me in his video about bookmarklets. I took his idea of using bookmarklets to save you thousands or hundreds of hours of time during SEO tasks and also a lot of money. And I'm gonna show you an amazing method of scraping the Google results of a certain keyword or within a certain niche to basically give you the best niche affiliate keywords for an Amazon or any kind of affiliate website. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna be using ChatGPT and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to create, a, create me a book marklet which scrapes the titles of a Google search result page and then copies the results to clipboard. So you can, uh, you can just copy exactly what I said here. I will try and remember to put this in the description, but basically I'm gonna press submit here. And while this is loading, I am gonna right click here and I'm gonna say bookmark manager. And then I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna say add a new bookmark and I'm gonna say scrape Google results Amazon. And I'm gonna put the URL as https google.com. And then I'm gonna press save. And then I'm gonna open that bookmark to get onto Google. Now you might be wondering what the hell is Hamish doing? Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using search operators to give us all of the Amazon search result pages in a niche. And then we're gonna scrape the titles and we're basically gonna verify those keywords afterwards and make sure they're worth writing about. So the way we do that is we're gonna be using my favorite way of finding keywords, which is search operators. Now I want you to click on quick settings and click on all settings. And I want you to move this slider from 10 to 100 and then press save. And then now when you scroll, there will be a lot more results. So the beautiful thing about this is if I open this, this is an Amazon search result page. And these are how you find the golden keywords that will lead to good rankings and good sales. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask ChatGPT, well, it already did, it's already created it. So you're just gonna copy this. In the, in the actual ChatGPT UI, it's just gonna be a code box, but because I'm forced into using the playground because Italy has banned ChatGPT, I have to use this unfortunately, which really, really sucks for this video, but there you go. So I want you to copy what's in the code box or if you're using the playground, everything that's underneath this line and this line, and then click on these two chevrons, right click here and press edit. Now where it says URL, I want you to just control V and then press save. What I'm gonna do now is click on the chevrons again and press scrape results. And look, it says Google search titles, copy to keyboard. I'm gonna press okay. And then if I do control V, you can see that we have all of these uh, H1 or H2 or even H3 um, results from the SERP. So it's basically, it's got rid of all this useless information and it's just given me the title. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit refresh because I'm forced to because the, the UI here is kind of terrible. And I'm gonna do control V again and I'm gonna say, please extract the keywords from this list. Um, do not use symbols, do not use numbers and always use the word camping. And then I'm gonna press submit. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us an amazing list of keywords, which we can then do some free keyword verification on. You can see already that some of these keywords are super, super interesting, okay? Some of them are completely useless, obviously. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press cancel and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy this, add new message. I'm gonna say, please remove any uh, lines that are not relevant to camping. So before this, it wasn't really possible to, to do this, to be honest. It was very, very difficult to do this kind of thing. So while this is loading, let's go on Google Ads Keyword Planner and let's just search one of these. So I wanna do emergency blanket. 
because I personally think this is an incredible keyword. As you can see, these are very, very good um, or very, very interesting keywords here. And what you can do is you can say best emergency blanket for, and then you can do hiking or for example, I think there was outdoors. Let's just do for hiking for now or for camping, okay? So we now have our biggest competitor right here. And also we have people also asked. So these, this is both very, very, these are both very, very important things for SEO. You can take the people also asked and you can write an article about emergency blankets, like a blog post, like why they're useful, et cetera, et cetera. That's one blog post. You also, you're gonna want to write a best emergency blankets for whatever year it is as well. So best emergency blankets for 2023, because it's 2023, obviously. So we're gonna open our competitor and yeah, you can see this is just a basic, well, not basic, it's pretty good. They've done a good job. It's a basic uh, Amazon niche affiliate website. You can see this leads to Amazon with the affiliate link right here. Uh, REF URL, which means referral URL is this one right here. So if I were to buy this, then, so first of all, two things. You should always put your links, in my opinion, I don't actually know if this is best practice, but in my opinion, it's better to put it to a search result page because this is not available in Italy. I cannot buy this. This might even be out of stock everywhere. So it's much better to put your affiliate links to a search result page for this, for example. So you search this and just put the affiliate link to this right here. That means if it's out of stock or if it's not available in their country, they will still be able to buy this item right here and you will still be able to make money. So that's just a little extra tip that I did learn that from someone who has maybe 15 very successful niche affiliate websites. So definitely worth listening to that advice. Overall, you can see that there is definitely a huge amount of demand for just this one keyword or this one kind of broad um, keyword topic or cluster. 44,000 potential searches every single month and Emergency Blanket itself has up to 6,000 searches every single month, which is very, very good. It's very, very high. In my opinion, this is a very good keyword. So first of all, you need to write a blog post about what an emergency blanket is. And then you need to write a blog post about the best emergency blankets. So now we have all of our keywords. You can do the same thing for all of these keywords. Okay, so best cooking utensils for hiking, uh, best air mattresses, best self-inflating sleeping mats, etc. What you want to do now is you want to basically put as many keywords as possible that are completely relevant. So you want to remove really broad ones like that and you just want to get results and you want to try and find something that works very, very well. Hydration backpack, 8,100 uh, searches every single month. Water backpack, self-inflating camping mattresses doesn't have as much, but it is currently on the uptick. Prepared hero fire blanket. I actually have no idea what that even means. Oh, it's, it's a brand. And Amazon sells that brand. So again, this is a very, very useful bit of information that I didn't know before. What you can also do if you've got the, the money, basically, is you can use Ahrefs. Now, is this 100% necessary? Probably not, because what you can do is you can just write an article for any kind of niche keywords here. Not the broad ones like electronics, uh, but the really, really kind of niche things such as mo motorcycle tents would be a good one, foam sleeping mats, that kind of stuff. But things like electronics and tents, they're not gonna be that good in my opinion. And as you can see, that's exactly what's happened here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down a little bit and you wanna look for things. There it is again, emergency blankets and also backpacking stoves, okay? So backpacking stoves, definitely a good one. So let's do best backpacking stoves. And again, you can see it's the same sort of thing, but there are many, many more results for this one specifically which probably means they're selling even more. Okay, so let's talk about other potential bookmarklets that can save us a lot of time. And basically you can create your own Swiss army knife for SEO 
without paying anything. And that's the beauty of the these bookmarklets. So I'm gonna say add message here. I'm gonna say create me a bookmarklet that scrapes all of the headings from a web page and then puts the results into a uh, uh, onto the clipboard. And I'm gonna press submit. This might be too long for, no, it's not, okay. So that's gonna do that. And while that's doing that, we're gonna go back to best emergency blankets for backpacking, and we're gonna open outdoorlife.com. And you could basically, normally you would either have to code yourself uh, a little tool that will take all of these, or you, you know, th there's lots of different things you could do. You could copy all the content and say, to chat GPT, can you give me the results, blah, blah, blah. Or you can just use a bookmarklet, which is so handy and it will honestly save you so much damn time. It's insane, okay? You would normally have to pay a freelancer or something like that to do this for you. But instead, what we can do is we can use a bookmarklet. So again, click the chevrons, right click the bookmark, edit, put this into the... Um, into the URL. And then now when I press this, it should take all of the headings just like that, okay? And then you can, if you really want to, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it like this exactly, you could say, uh, write me a blog post using markdown formatting um, and rewriting these headings. Uh, also use these links as internal links and then you would basically paste your internal links here and then you could just press submit and this will write you a fully fledged article in the niche that will help you rank on Google and because this article is already ranking on Google and you're not really taking their content okay this is the important thing because not a single, only the headings, you're only taking the headings. So for me, this is standard SEO practice. 99% of SEOs will agree with me, okay? This is not stealing anything except keywords. 99% of SEO is stealing other people's keywords. Anyone that says otherwise is lying. So another thing you can do, which unfortunately I can't show you properly because again, ChatGPT is banned in Italy, which hopefully won't be for too long, is you can search for emergency blankets here and you can open up uh, Harper AI and you can say slash and then summary and you can say summarize into a table, for example. So summarize the web page text into a table, into, into a table. And this will basically then give you um, a, a nice, functional table just like the one they have right here and it will just take all of this information okay and i'll put it into a nice little table which you can put at the top of your article just like here this will save you so much time so much effort and honestly this is one of the best ways to write articles right now okay that's basically it guys once this is done I may as well show you this, even though I've shown this a million times. You just want to go to markdown to html.com, put the uh, markdown here, and then you can see we have a fully fledged article which can be copied and pasted straight into either a Google document or into Airtable or into WordPress. You press post, job's done. You have the table from um, Harper at the top. And you have probably a table of contents, which looks like it might be here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Be careful because if you look here, these links have actually, um, because they're relative links, they've actually become convert. They, they're, they're using this. So what you can do is you can use the raw HTML instead. And now you can look and these are actually still relative links instead of being connected to markdown to HTML. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of content, there's loads more coming now because I think a lot of people watch me for keyword research and things like that and also how to write, et cetera, et cetera, instead of, you know, the groundbreaking, this is the new best way to make money online, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people are just watching me for SEO. I am going to be making a lot more videos like this. Thank you for watching and peace out.